It is the birth of Bipla, an aspect of Lord Shiva. When Bipla was just a young boy, his father Dadechi gave his own bones and sacrifice to the Devas to defeat the Asuras. Piplad asked the Devas why his family should suffer such bad fortune and they told him it was simply due to the alignment of the planets. Piplad was furious at this fate and cursed Shani of the ringed planet whose celestial home started to fall from the sky. The Devas interceded, pleading for mercy on Shani, for Piplar to lift the curse. Piplar agreed, on the condition that Shani's position would no longer bring trouble on anyone of less than 16 years old. This is the marriage of Shiva to Sati, which angered Sati's father Daksha greatly. Daksha snubbed the girl and insulted Shiva in public. Sati was unable to bear it and threw herself into the sacrificial fire. Shiva fell into a great rage and pulled a lock of hair from his brow, lashing the ground with it. And there sprang up Virabhadra, fierce warrior of Shiva, who destroyed Daksha and extinguished his fire. Even, even I could not stop him. The birth of Ashwatthama, gifted to his father Drona after many, many years of penance, born with a magical gem in his forehead that made him a mighty warrior. After Drona was killed through trickery, Ashwatthama issued a challenge to Arjuna. Both warriors used mantras to create mighty world-destroying weapons. Arjuna was wise and withheld his weapon, but, but Ashwatthama did not. Instead, directing it at Uttara, Arjuna's daughter-in-law, utterly destroying the lineage of the Pandavas. For that action, Krishna cursed Ashwatthama and cut the gem from his forehead. For thousands of years, he roamed the forests of the world with blood and pus oozing from his injury. It is rumored he walks there still. There was a time when I was to take from upon the earth as Rama. Lord Shiva was greatly pleased and wished to travel with my avatar in my journey to aid me. But Parvati begged him to stay with her. There was a devoted king, Kesari, of the monkey people who prayed to Shiva for a child. And so, as a means to assist me, 
Nana's boon to Kesari, Shiva was born as Kesari's son and became Hanuman, who was helper. The Mr. Combs, they burn. Golu, you are surely too clever to have been hurt. You must be safe. I pray that you are safe. Destruction and death and bone and blood. It will not be pleasant, yet she must learn the extent of her enemy's malice. To be seen. She must know what Mahabharasura is capable of. I am sorry, 
Raji. Her quest is no longer just for her brother, but for all who suffer this evil. village of the mystics was under threat. This conqueror would stop at nothing. Would destroy centuries of history and learning. The mystic chieftain was forced to give up the scroll he had kept secret for so long. the mystics will not survive Mahabharasura's attack for long. She must be swift. this guardian.
subterfuge will not save you. Is there nothing that can calm you? to that, if not to me. Chieftain's life was in peril. Then Raji stepped forward and finally faced her foe. She struck the invader. But his answering blow wounded her and threw her to the ground. Her foe was shocked. Raji had hurt him. That should have been impossible. Golu saw his chance and he ran to his sister as their enemy disappeared. Raji was near death. But here she was among the mystics, most knowledgeable practitioners of magic. If they could not save her, then no one could. Finally, she was with Golu, but this could not last. should be wielded by a god, not a street performer. Who is she? A performer? A nothing. Who lost her brother? She will fail and the world will fall. It 
should not be on her shoulders. She will be. She lost Golu once. How can she hope to protect him now? Daddy, you lost me before. Raji, can't you find me? Maybe you aren't strong enough. Maybe you oh, my can't sister. save me. And why are you will lost reach me before, in time. Didi? Didi, please don't lose me again. I don't know if you can save me. Didi? Oh my sister, you lost me before, Didi. I don't think I you will reach you can me. Please don't lose me again. If you try. The mystic chieftain warned her. Their enemy was Mahabalasura, the outcast, the most powerful mystic ever born. The scroll that he had stolen held a mantra to rip open the gates of the Dev heavens. Raji was the only one with the power to stop him before he tore apart the world. So this is where they sent me. This can only be the deserts of Thar. How will I find the gate? This place is said to be infinite. Yet she will find it. And she will face Mahabalasura. And she will overcome him. He is full of tricks, that one. I believe he has a deeper strategy. Raji must be careful, but she must also be swift.
this is so strange. I have walked here before. Have I not? What is this place? Why does it feel so familiar? <laughs> 